It's really easy to get this ASCII effect in React 3 Fiber, and I'll show you how. Here's what we're starting with. Now the canvas takes a GL prop, and what this does is it lets you customize the renderer that it uses. So it takes a single parameter, which is the default props, and we can pass this to our renderer. For now, we'll just use the regular WebGL renderer and pass in those props. And then normally you would customize it however you would like and then return that renderer. But what we're going to do is we want to override two different methods. And first we're going to grab our effect, which is the ASCII effect. And this is just imported from three examples over here. And then this effect takes the renderer as a prop. And so the two methods that we want to override are the render method. So we'll just replace that with the effects render method and the set size method. And we'll replace this one here. Okay, so after we do all that and hit refresh, you'll notice that it's still not working. And that's because, first of all, the, the main DOM element that's being used is still from the renderer. So what we need to do is first hide that one. So we take the renderer, take that DOM element, set the style, display none. And that'll hide it. And then we also need to take the DOM element from the effect and append that to our scene. So we take renderer, DOM element, parent, and then we'll append the effects DOM element. So now if we refresh, we'll see that we're getting that effect. And so one last thing that we can do to kind of make this a little bit more exciting, uh, the third parameter that you can pass into the ASCII effect has a couple of different options. And so one of them is to set color. So I'll set that to true, give it a quick refresh. And there we go. We've got the ASCII effect in React 3 Fiber.